go Saturday, events day for Tiny Tom and Little Luke. Yeah. So yeah, so we've got log press, we're gonna do some shield carry, and we're gonna get the stones done. So we've got a new stone platform, so this will be the first time we're gonna kind of go through the motions with that stone platform. All this helps with boxing, so Tyson, I hope you're ready. You need to get that fat off you big time, mate, jeez. Thanks so, yeah. to Insight Supplements for our yeah, swipe up. Swipe left. Getting me ready for my boxing debut next year. Couple yeah. times ready to knock out yeah. Fury of Fury. Tyson, oh. if you're watching, just please reply, mate, because I can't handle this for another two months or three months. He's a daughter, you won't reply. Okay, let's go train. Let's train. How have you going today, Luke? Don't know. So we did 190 last week. I'm trying to get up like five or 10 kilo increments each week. So I've hit 200 this week. Then I'll probably be 205, 210, and do a bit more conservative jumps once I get to 200. Because for me, I still feel like 200 is, you know, still a bit off my marks at the moment. So, yeah, we'll see you 200, maybe 230, see what happens. Are you looking forward to your fight against Tyson Fury, Tom? Oh, sir. So we just hit log, quite a spicy little log session there. Yeah, just up to 170 for one six six signal. Single. One six single. So I went up to a new PB. You can show that sexy log I did. 212 and a half kilos. Best log pressure in Britain. In the Highland Strength and Conditioning Centre. In Britain. In Invergordon. So yeah, all you other guys pressing logs in Invergordon, come at me. Brr. At least she's good at sitting in the highlands. <sighs> so we're going to do some shield carry. We've got the horrible Where rebel. Where rebel strength shield is going, jeez. Very naughty. So we're going to do there and back again, basically just to work on our turns. It's about... So I'd say 20, 25 metres. And then we're going to do stones, and then we're going to go up the house and get some food from Campbell's meat. Vegetarian food. Is rubbish. So it's like meatballs without the meat, so balls, you know? Facts. Anyway, let's do some shield. I see you. Please come again another day. How do you like that warm up? Eh? All time strength pro CD tacky. All time strength gym on Instagram. Use called Tom10. I've never been beaten using this. This stuff's been proven by the world's best stone lifter and the second best stone lifter. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, yeah. It's me. Yeah. Oh, you can God. drink it too as well, you know. Cheers.
good. Squeeze. We're going to get a little bit of a munch on just now. So the barbecue is going nice and hot. We've got four of the most finest bits of Scottish beef you'll ever see from Campbell. So thank you very much for sending these up. These are actually on offer at the moment in their, their website. So, And if you use stock 15, there'll be even more on offer. Exactly. So these are actually shaving steaks. So I can hardly pick this up. This is a kilo of pure beef, just like Tommy's got somewhere. Prank. So no veg to be seen. So we've got a pick our weapon, Simon. You're going to get involved too, aren't you? Indeed. So my weapon. I think I'm going to go for this bad boy, Simon. That one there. This one. Yeah. So Simon's <laughs> little lookies and turbo toms. So let's go put them on the grill. Put a little bit of salt on it. Um, and I don't put any oil on it because I don't think we need it when we're putting butter. It is a key to success. Yes, butter is fat. Jeez, what a weight. Easier to cook with, easier to clean up with, and healthier for your guts and insides. That is a big so slab. Don't be oily, that. be buttery. That is proper Scottish beef. Yes. QMS, hit us up. Yes. Quality meat Scotland. My mouth is like, I can't talk properly to show because it's salivating, if that's a word. It's getting moist. Just like other things on a Saturday night. Eh? <coughs> <laughs> How do you like your steak cooked, Simon? Medium rare. Medium rare. Well, you'll get it however it comes out, so. A bit of pepper. Do you like pepper, Tom? Nope. Okay, we'll put a bit Pepper's bad for you. So, pink Himalayan salt in here. We could all take it to the barbecue. Nope, Tom's a chef. Nope, I'll just take it. Is it on? Mm hmm. Whoa. Come with me, my friends. They call me Gordon Ramsay. What a weight, gee! Ah. What are you doing? Just doing a stone. Ah. 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 Oh, ah. crispy. Ah. 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 So we'll chuck these bad boys at the back. Oh. Oh. Take a boo, son. I'll put, we'll put them there and chuck that there. Northern boys love oh. steaks. Nothing beats Scottish beef cooking in the highlands of Scotland. What more could you want? A Lamborghini. No, like what more could they want for? To see the Scotland brothers in their natural habitat cooking Scottish beef. It can be 10 seconds or it can be 10 hours. Depends how you like it. Yeah. Fat. Well, because they're quite thick, I'll take a minutes. little bit. A little bit longer. If you like blood in it, then five minutes. It's a good idea to get plastic thong, yeah, tongs when you're cooking in the barbecue. As you can see, they're a little bit melted. I hope you like rubber, Simon. Oh, you didn't put the batter down first. Rookie oh. mistake. Oh, yeah, smoky. Oh, yes. Got a little weight in that one. Oh. That's bigger than the atlas stone I lifted. Eh? Bigger than the log press I just lifted. Wow. Is that my jobbies? Oh yes. Is that a beef steak? It's a beef steak, Tom, yes. But uh, wait a minute, I need to... We go in while it's cooked. Our Scottish beef is just cooking on the barbecue. It's a bit cold out there, so we're just going to chill here for a couple of minutes and go back out and, and check it. So, I mean, obviously there's a lot of bad press about beef and meat and Scottish beef and just meat in general, about all the hormones and everything that's added to it. But the best thing about Scottish beef, you know, it's all grass fed, it's hormone free, as natural as it can be in, in, in farmed animals. So that's one of the best things. And it's, farmers in Scotland are generally very attentive to their animals and, you know, they care about the welfare. So I'm very proud to eat Scottish beef. Yeah. In more ways than one. Me too. Uh, Rob Kearney, coming for you, boy. In Scotland, is, is having the biggest and best beefy steaks. So guys, please keep eating Scottish beef and let's stop killing rabbits. Let's go check the steaks. Buy you get your barbecue from? So um, it was actually sitting unused at my dad's place, which is our dad's just stay over there across the walls. So he was actually away in Holden Crete, I think it was. So I snuck over stealth mode and went, I'll just take that barbecue, Dad. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, buddy. 
Ja, ja. Oh, that's enough. That's good. <laughs> Bloody melon. Get that part going, boy. Big Tommy, just cold. Look at Tom. <laughs> Such a. Oh, Tommy. That's uh, a bit rare so far. Do you know my trick, Simon? How to? Yes. Do you know how to tell? Oh, you can do that. Okay. Or oh, you can do that as well. So that's rare, medium, rare. How do you happen to just cook it? Um, well, I, I can't, I'm not cooking it, it's a barbecue that's cooking it. Oh. I can't control my... My trousers are on the wrong way. Fat. What happened? Trousers are on the wrong way. <laughs> I thought that. So, oh my god. Oh jeez, it's cold. Wow. Superman! <laughs> I can't believe he's, why did you put his bus? Why did you put your trousers on back to front? Like, it's such a look. You see him just do his stupid face laughing. Almost there, Simon. Steak and no veg. I'm just going to leave Tom and mine for one more wee blast. I think your one's done, Simon. Should be pretty good to go. I hope. Event session done, and a little bit of cooking with the stoke ones. It's a good session today. You hit the 250 stone like it was nothing. Mm, I like stone, that's about it. And uh, had a quite a good log press session, I was quite happy with that. Seven or eight weeks out from Europe's, about three or four weeks before we do Arnold's, so everything's kind of coming together. So we'll probably do another heavier session, four or five weeks' time, 220 log before Europe's, which would be nice. So we'll see. And Big Tom is going to hit that 300 kilo stone. So we're going to finish off our steaks. Thank you very much, Campbell's. Thanks, Campbell's. Thanks for watching the video, guys. <laughs> Swipe up to Norway. Swipe left to Spain. Swipe down to down under. Thank you for liking, commenting, keep subscribing. And please keep ringing that bell. Keep eating your steaks. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding.